And of course, we're also feeling that locally it's another very scorching day as the heat wave does continue. I believe we're on day four now. We've got some sunshine trying to peek through here on Carbondale's camera, a few blue skies, but actually that cloud cover has been fairly helpful with our temperatures right now, only hitting about 90 and it's been capping us somewhere in those 90s. But of course, you factor in that humidity and that breeze out of the southwest and it feels a lot more like 104 for portions of Jackson County. So again, it's an incredibly warm day. Temperatures across the board somewhere in these 90s. Piedmont, one of the warmer spots, still at 94. We've got 91 for Sykeston and Poplar Bluff. 92 over in Paducah. Starting to cool down a bit for some of us, like Sparta, Carmi, and Murray all at 89. But again, of course, you factor in a lot of that humidity in the areas that are seeing sunshine. It is a bit warmer feeling. Harrisburg feeling like 109, still seeing 111 for Paducah, Cape Girardeau and Mount Vernon. Into this evening, we're still tracking a couple of those clouds. Of course, those hot conditions as well. Into Thursday and Friday, believe it or not, temperatures even warmer. We're pushing 100, some days actually hitting 100 degrees. Of course, that humidity staying with us as well. Into the weekend, we've got that nice pattern change. We're tracking cooler air and a couple chances actually for some rain. So we just got to get through a couple of hot days first. Still tracking some pretty heavy cloud cover by about 9 o'clock, falling into the mid 80s. Heat indices running somewhere in those 90s. Overnight tonight, we don't get very cool. We're staying mild in those mid 70s. Skies do start to clear by mid morning tomorrow and into lunchtime and see the big difference where compared to today, we're full of clouds. We're somewhere in the 90s, but by lunchtime tomorrow, lots of sunshine. It brings us right up to mid 90s by lunchtime. Heat of the day, we're tracking 99 for many of us. Couple chances maybe for some stray isolated showers over in southeastern Missouri, but most of us it's going to be another pretty dry day. Still tracking that excessive heat warning from now until Friday night at 10 p.m. So I know there's a lot of local events that have been changed to move around, and this is exactly why we're still tracking a lot of heat. We're not alone in that heat, roughly 110 million others are as well. You can see exactly where that heat dome is set up over the Midwest and then into the plains as well. So really just going to be a couple more hot days. Good news is there is some relief on the way just out of the northeast. We see that backdoor cold front. It cools us down at least a bit. But again, some very hot days ahead first. 99 for tomorrow, 100 on Friday. Slightly cooler to start the weekend down into 93. I think maybe we could see another heat advisory. Heat indices still very uncomfortable. Much better as a cool down as we drop down into those mid and even low 80s by next week. Humidity also getting knocked down. Storm Jack 3 app coming in very handy to keep an eye on those heat alerts, but also for radar. We're tracking isolated chances for some showers Thursday and Saturday. Scattered chances Sunday into Monday morning. So a lot happening, a lot of reasons to be weather aware, but of course still that number one reason is the heat. We're tracking a lot of heat. Upper 90s for tomorrow, triple digits for Friday. So again, I know a lot of those events have been pushed back or canceled. So if you do have any plans for the next two days, just double check online. Make sure everything's still on schedule. A few chances of rain for the weekend and next week. We're down into the 80s and then back in the 90s by the week after that. Yeah, those 80s sound pretty good right now. I know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be chilly at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Katie.